Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can put an IPA into a deb file so it will install correctly on an iPod. The first thing is in a Mac on a Mac computer, I'm gonna open up a virtual machine that I have. Um, you're gonna want to install iExplorer. Um, to search it, you should be able to find it real easily. Um, and you also want to look at my video on for jail coder if you haven't had that already this will allow you to patch your projects and Xcode so you can build to device easily you are gonna want to have the application built to your device after you have it built to your device you want to open up iExplorer I'm just gonna click no on that close okay then you're gonna want to go to admin click root um, system I think it was, library, no, let me remember where this was, library, private, var, mobile, applications, yeah, here we go, so, we go to private, var, mobile, and applications. These are the application, this is where your application will be sent. And I'm just going to go through, okay, that's Amazon, it's KIK. I'm going to choose, what am I going to choose? Ah, we'll just choose this one for right now. Um, what you're going to do is, if you look, if you notice under here, this is everything that's there. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit easier. have mine on here somewhere or I think it's because I put it on there myself I already already done this so okay slide if it, you're looking at your dot app folder um, open this is everything that you'll really need is in this dot app folder so what you're gonna do is we're gonna move this to the side Click and drag your dot app folder, the dot app folder, and it put it slide dot app. So I'm gonna do this. This makes it a bit easier for y people to understand. Okay, click the main folder here and just drag it out. So then you have this. I'm gonna delete this. Um, right click compress and we can just rename this on rename it what the actual thing is called so there's that and I'm gonna I have my own way of moving data so I'm gonna open Dropbox put the zipped folder in my Dropbox and then I'm gonna do the rest of this in a Windows if you are on a Mac and you know what you're doing on a Mac you can follow along and make the little changes um, so open Dropbox Give it a minute to transfer over. Okay, I just moved it. So here is your folder. Um, extract it. 
And what you're going to want to do is create a new folder and name it applications. Um, no. So that I can delete actually. So rename. Then what we're going to do is open the folder here. And where it says slide.app, click, drag that, and put that into the applications folder you just created. So now if you click applications, your app should pull here with all the required data that it needs. Then just right click, send to, compress folder, I'm going to name it slide. I'll just name it as applications. It's easier. Then you're going to open this up, my repo space. Go to iDeb. And since you've built it in Xcode, it will automatically create the control file for you. taking so long. Okay, I'll be right back once it loads. Alright, here we go. It's back up. Take me to my account. Well, I thought it would be faster. Slash iDub. There, it's loading faster. Then choose the file. We're looking for applications. Don't choose that. That's the folder that contains our application. Click open. Then click convert. And if you do other things on iDeb, you probably already know this stuff already. Uploading. And depending on how complex your application is, it will depend on how long it takes it to upload. The one I created, if you probably saw it earlier in here, called Where Am I? It's very, very simple, so it took a matter of seconds. This one seems to be a bit bigger. It's not mine. I'm just using this as an example. Okay, this one they didn't do it like ours, but since we will have it used in jail coder, it will create the control for us, so. I'm just going to say 1.0 because it is for me. Continue, send to Cydia. Okay, now it was sent to Cydia. Um, so if we go here, my packages, slide, let's edit the details, let's make it application, and update. So now I'm going to go ahead, open this, yes, so you guys can see my iPod. Okay, and I think this is opening Cydia. So open Cydia, and if you have your um, my repo space account logged into Cydia, and then you're, or added to Cydia, not logged in, 
then you'll all you have to do is refresh sources. So let it do its refresh on everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit changes. There, it's almost ready for us. There it is, slide. Let this load and I'll show you. Slide, one pointer like we said. It knows it's the application, what I told it to say. Install. Confirm. And let it download your application. And you're going to want to do this before you actually release it just to make sure if it doesn't work then try it again everything I've said here should mail it to work should mail it to work should allow it to work sorry all right Kelly click return to studio uh, back out. Now, I don't know what this is going to do because I probably, I think, already have this installed. Slide over. Slide is right there. Um, it was already on my device, so I'm going to do this. Okay, I can't delete it, meaning that was from Cydia. So let's do this. Go into here. Give me a minute. I'm going to uninstall it on my thing. I'm going to go ahead and just pause this and work uninstall it. Okay, so now we can see it's not there. It's open Cydia. Okay, I was just checking to see if it was in here. Let's go back to changes. Okay, we're there. Click install. Click confirm. Now let's let it install. It's done. Let it load. Installing. Okay, now it's installed. Now it's just fixing everything that needs to do. I don't really know what it does here. Okay, and return to Cydia, back out, and there it is, it's installed, click it, it might act real weird, and that's basically it. It should open up on your device and run properly. And that's it.